Hey, babe. Do you want to go woohoo in the trash can with me? Oh my god, they're actually gonna do it. What the heck? Ah! Oh my god. Is it happening? Oh my god. She's a ghost. That's crazy. Oh my god. I feel like I shouldn't be watching this. Cover your eyes. Oh my god. Hey, hey everyone. Welcome back to my channel and episode nine of our Not So Berry Peach Generation. Today, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the makeovers that I gave both Allie and Gator and our heir Myrtle after last episode. And then we also need to redo their bedrooms. And one more exciting surprise, I have been working on rebuilding the police department station for Percy's career. And I finished it just the other day, just in time for this episode. So the next time we go to work with Percy, I can place it down and show you all what I did. It is also available on my gallery if you wanna download it and play with it in your own save file. I didn't limit my packs though. So I apologize. I don't know how many packs I used. It was probably all of them, if I'm gonna be honest. So my bad, but also it was for my gameplay. So I don't know what to say. Anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right in. Before you you go. I also wanted to remind you that channel memberships are open. Nothing is changing. Everything will be staying the same on the channel. So don't worry, your favorite series aren't going anywhere. Members will get access to some cool perks and additional members only content. Feel free to click the join button located next to the subscribe button for more information. Thank you for your support. Okay, we are back in the household. I guess I should probably go into cast and show you all the makeovers, huh? Let's do that first and then we'll work on the bedrooms. Okay, let's start first with Allie. So this is her everyday outfit. This is her formal outfit. I'm literally obsessed with this. We have our sleepwear, we have our party outfits, swimwear, hot weather outfit, and our cold weather outfit. Very simple. She's a toddler. And then this is Gator, her brother. This is his formal outfit, again with the new life and death pack. This is sleepwear, party swimwear, hot weather, and cold weather. And now for our heir, Myrtle, who once again, if you remember, has red eyes. So it's like really epic and I love it. This is her everyday outfit. I gave her a secondary one as well. And we have our formal outfits, athletic, sleepwear, party outfits, swimwear, hot weather outfits, and our cold weather outfits. I might actually change one of these hairs to be like up. And yeah, these are CC hairs if you're looking at them. I tried like a couple variations of them and ended up liking this one the best. And then I just re colored all of the hairs so that they would all have this like kind of murky green color. But there we go. I think I'm happy with that. Now we need to redo their bedrooms so that they're appropriate for their ages. Hopefully you like Myrtle's makeover. I think she's really cute. Okay. Also, it appears that there's mold in the house somewhere and I'm not really sure where it is because it's not in the bathroom that it's normally in, but everyone has sporiosis. So that's not ideal. Do you have work today, Percy? Oh, she's supposed to go to work today. Can I go to work right now? Because I would actually rather place the police department than do the bedrooms if I I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh, I can't go with her though. Frick. Okay, never mind. All right, well, I guess I'll do the bedroom makeovers then. So, first and foremost, let's go ahead and do Percy's bedroom makeover. Sorry, not Percy, Myrtle. Oh my gosh, I got them mixed up again. I would like to use the new bed that came with Life and Death. It's just that it's a double bed, so I don't know how well it's gonna fit in here. It like takes up the entire room almost, but I guess I could like have it up against the wall maybe. Let me just clear some of these things out initially. So we don't really need these toddler items anymore. I can get rid of the changing table. We can maybe like also repaint her walls a little bit. Yeah, I really like the idea of using the new life and death furniture, but at the same time, it doesn't feel very like kid-like. So maybe I should wait until she's a teen to use this. I feel like she needs to still feel like a kid. Oh, honestly, this one's really cute. I really like the like patchwork vibes that we have here. We could kind of do something like this, a little bit of like mixing and matching. Because one thing I need to remember is that like the green generation is supposed to be like super techy. So I kind of want to have like very like lime electric green vibes versus like the more earthy greens we've been getting. I think I'm gonna unironically use this like base game wall swatch here. I actually really like it. Definitely like very different vibes than what we had in here. And then I kind of want to get her like a gaming desk set up because again she's supposed to be like really techy and everything. So I think like starting her young with like an epic gaming setup is kind of the vibe for me. I think I won't start her with a widescreen monitor but I'll start her with like a dual monitor setup. Oh, I really like it. It's giving like grunge punk vibes. I think maybe some like gaming posters on the wall is cool too. Honestly, I would use this setup. Even though it's not the colors that I have currently, I think it's pretty epic. I'm gonna get her a little headset here. Oh, I like that these are green, but I don't like the brown, so I think I'll just do black. Honestly, this is a sick setup. This kid is really lucky. I guess that's what happens when you're living off of generational wealth, because like, what is this, Gen 9? So they just got a lot of money. <laughs> this family has so much money. I'm obsessed with the froggy rug. I'm gonna try to make it work. I love him. I feel like 
like that's the only reason I would recommend buying my first pet stuff is specifically for, for this, this lad right here. Look at him. So cute. All right, I'm going to add like a couple details kind of on this like bedside table area and then we'll probably be good to go. I'm looking for the backpack clutter and I know that it exists. I just literally cannot find it right now. I don't think I'll be able to use it. I could have sworn it was like in here. I don't know where it is. I guess it's just gone now. <laughs> That's so wild. Maybe I'll set up like because she's supposed to be techie. Maybe I'll give her like the chemistry set as well. I don't think this is like a good idea because it's just gonna burst into flames every five seconds. But you know, it is what it is, right? I want her to like get super into her passions and hobbies and stuff. Okay, now to just change the colors of these things green oh boy okay that's like really green there we go a little more balance okay perfect so that's myrtle's bedroom let me go ahead and assign this bed to her and then we got to work on the twins bedroom really quick but this should be like a lot faster since i just have to replace the cribs with toddler beds basically i'll go ahead and put a toddler potty in here so they can practice pooping and honestly that should be good for now i don't like putting too much effort into toddler rooms because it's like they're not gonna be toddlers forever right okay do you feel better myrtle i think she finally showered off all the spores. I'm also going to have her do her homework. Oh, and I should probably give this Wabbit tablet to the twins, huh? Speaking of, where are you, Allie? Oh, she's like downstairs sleeping. Gator is not doing well. Like he's freaking hungry and stuff. And his grandmas are just sitting there watching him be hungry. So I don't know how you guys made it this far in life. All right, grab a serving of chili. Can one of you maybe like make some food or something? That'd be like really good. Azalea, you're in a good mood. Why don't you cook a gourmet meal of, I'm kind of thinking garlic noodles would be yummy. I kind of want garlic noodles myself, honestly. That sounds really yummy. Assign tough tasks. There we go. Is Percy like close to... Okay, I have to solve a case to get promoted. That freaking sucks. <laughs> we all know the career is broken, so I'm going to try to see if it will work this time, but I have to wait till we go to work again. Myrtle is hanging out with her siblings. Also, I'm a little confused because I thought in Cass this outfit of hers, I had her hair down. So I think I might like really quickly check Cass again. Sometimes like whenever I change a Sim's hair, style in cast like it kind of disrupts all the other hairstyles so i'm worried that like that's what happened so I'm going to double check. Yeah, so I wanted this one to have hair up. This one have hair down. Okay, it looks like all of the other ones maybe are good. Let me check. Okay, I think I fixed it. We should be good now. Okay, we're good now. Work on your homework, kiddo, and then maybe you can have some fun today in your new gaming setup. Okay, and Azalea made garlic noodles. What's wrong? Okay, I think maybe you need a bath. Let's ask, let's ask Azalea for a bath and maybe you can ask Corrine to help you go sleepy time. There are so many adults in this household. I just need one of them. Them to become competent okay it's not that hard it's not asking too much i don't think here we go please help your please help your grandchildren thank you azalea okay percy is getting a lot of performance gain like if she had her case solved i think she would be good corinne don't go kick oh my god she's gonna go kick the trash can over corinne i'm gonna make you clean up this trash if you do that all right that's it dispelling it oh our auntie says congrats on your recent birthday thank you thanks auntie momo i can do a transcendent woohoo in the trash can with azalea in here i I think I might do that and just see what that looks like. Hey, babe, do you want to go woohoo in the trash can with me? Oh my God, they're actually going to do it. What the heck? Ah! Oh my god. Is it happening? <gasps> oh my god. She's a ghost. That's crazy. Ooh. Oh my god. I feel like I shouldn't be watching this. Cover your eyes. Oh my god. Also, Luna is home from work and she's moldy. And I'm not trying to say that in a mean way. I'm saying that she's like literally moldy. So we're gonna go have her take a shower. Put Gator down. Come on. I'm gonna see if I can get him to come upstairs. He needs potty help. Can one of the grandmas help him? If you guys are done woohooing in a trash can, can you help your grandson poop? Oh no. Why are you crying about that? Oh, missing them. You literally just haunting memories. Sometimes it's worse to see what was lost come back without the same feeling or touch that it once was. <gasps> oh no. Wait, it went bad. We had a moving too fast moodlet as well. It went away for a second. I didn't get to read it. Corrine loved it, but Azalea is like really going through it mentally. I kind of feel bad for that. I thought that they would both like it. Corrine had a blast. Oh good, Percy's home. Hi, Percy. Are you going to help your son go poopies, please? Oh, looks like he pooped himself. Never mind. All clear. No need to worry about that. Okay, Percy, what are you doing? Chatting with Ashley Barry has died. Oh my God. I don't know who that is. I'm just going to have it remain with their ghost. I don't know. Peyton Barry has. What is happening? So many Sims are dying. Why are you out here yelling at Corrine right now? Ah, Corrine, you can't just do that. Percy is pissed. She is pissed. Maybe her mom told her that she's not happy. Either way, I'm excited to go to work with Percy tomorrow so that I can like show you guys the police station that I renovated. Pretty, pretty excited about it. Oh God. What are you doing? Why are you down here? That's your grandma's computer. Why don't you 
use your computer. I'm going to lock it for everyone except Myrtle. Why don't you come up here and play some games? Become a gamer and all that. Also, I thought I did lock Azalea's computer. So it's confusing to me. Number six will be very important to you in the next 24 hours. Literally leave me alone. I keep getting prank calls. There we go. Now it's locked for everyone but Azalea. Perfect. I'm so sorry that you're so sad. Do you want to go to grief counseling? Maybe you both should. Percy needs to do something fun. What does Percy like to do? I guess I could work on my comedy stuff. It's been a hot minute since we've done that. Now let's practice a comedy routine. Okay, I need Allie to go back to sleep. I don't know why she's awake right now. Look at our little gamer. Oh my god, you guys. This is our heir. She's literally like streaming right now. I'm so proud of her. Like genuinely, she's gonna become like the best gamer and streamer in the world, I hope. It's my dream for her. Luna is burned out. Okay, you know what, Luna? You can take like a day off. Why don't you call into work and take a vacation day? You kind of deserve it. You've been working really hard recently and like a lot of stuff has been happening in this household and you should really just go to sleep because you're not doing well. She deserves this day off. Why is there a child at my door? Hello? You know this child, Madeline? They seem really sad. What if they're like related to us somehow? I don't know who this kid is. Can you leave? I hate to be mean like that, but I don't want like a random child at my house. Ugh, I don't want to go to the chalet. Sorry. I'm busy. Busy being at home. Okay, Percy's in a way better mood. That's good. It seems like our comedy routine went well. So I'm going to get everybody ready for bed. Myrtle, you need to go to bed too. I love you. She's listening to lullabies while gaming. Can you imagine? That's actually kind of funny. All right, I'm going to have you eat and then go to bed because you got your first day of school tomorrow. First day of school. I wonder what outfit she's going to wear. Oh my God. Stop sobbing at the kitchen table. Your poor kid is here. Why don't you just go to bed, Percy? You have work tomorrow and I want to place the new police station. Already the last one awake in the household. Starting young. She's going to be a late night gamer. God, I really, really like Myrtle's bedroom. I had a lot of fun doing it. Being it a little makeover. It's so cute and it's so green. Still forever obsessed with this house too. It's really pretty. How am I ever going to top this? All right, Corrine is up first. Oh, goody. Is there anything you can clean for us in the house? I don't want any mold anywhere. It seems like the mold infestation has kind of like calmed down a little bit though. Like we haven't had any mold recently. So at least that's good. <gasps> oh my God. Luna and Percy are just autonomously cuddling. Oh, Luna looks pissed in her sleep, but like it's still really cute to see them just do this without me asking them to. They really love each other. Oh no. Azalea, what's wrong, baby? Underachieving. Oh God. Girl, you are not underachieving. Let's go over your achievements. You are poetic. You are a savant. You have creative visionary. You're responsible. You're a muser. You graduated with honors. Like what else could you want? Oh, she's really struggling with her grief. Let's send you back to grief counseling again. I really want her to hopefully start feeling better. My poor baby. Corrine is missing out on unfulfilled dreams. I hate to say it, but I don't think you are. Like you're, you're dead. Maybe just go jogging or something. All right, Myrtle, it is your first day of school today. Let's go ahead and make sure we get ready and have the best day possible. She's so freaking cute. She's talking to her blurfy about her first day of school. I hope she makes some like friends and stuff. Oh, she's going to go ask her mom for some advice. First day of school advice, mom. What do you got for me? Oh, just be yourself. Make friends. Don't do homework. What was that mood late, Luna? I don't know if that was the best advice. Aww. She's so nice. Maybe you should have a bowl of cereal before school, kiddo. I know you're not too hungry, but I just have a feeling that you're going to regret it if you don't have a healthy breakfast before the start of your day. Got some fruit loops. All right, Percy's up and we're going to be going to work with her today and I can finally give you a tour of the police station that I renovated. Very excited about that. Oh god, it's broken. Corrine, can you instantly repair and instantly clean this? God, she probably hates everything because that's like her job now. Her job is like being the handyman. That's like all she does. <laughs> that's like her worst nightmare too. She's like high maintenance, but now she is maintenance. Like that's a crazy evolution. Crazy character development and also kind of karma. Oh, she's failing to fix everything. No matter, we're going to work with Percy, so not our problem anymore. Okay, so this is the current police department, as we all know. Really grungy, really sad. So I'm going to show you the one that I made. In order to place it, you have to go into cheats and type bb.enable free build. If you have cheats on, obviously first you have to do testing cheats on. But after doing bb.enable free build, you should then be able to find the police station that I made. Oh, I cannot modify a lot while my sim is working. No, I think I'm actually going to freak out. Why won't it let me do that? How am I supposed to do it otherwise? Oh, okay. I just had to go into build mode first. 
first. <laughs> My bad. All right, so we're gonna replace it here. Ta-da! So this is the police station that I've rebuilt. Oh my God, it's kind of laggy. Let's give it a second to cook. Oh my God, wait, is Edward Cullen here? That's the guy that I arrested. Maybe my perp is here. Either way, I'm gonna give you guys a really quick tour before we get started with our day. So I made like the outside. It was like municipal core. So we have like a little bus station over here that doesn't work obviously, but it's just kind of there for funsies. And then you walk in and in the front entrance, we kind of have a little receptionist desk area, a place to like take civilian cases I think is the action. I also made like the receptionist area a little bit messy so like whoever the receptionist is they have something going on maybe <laughs> they're struggling a little bit and then over here we have the detective area this is where Percy works so we have all of the desks and honestly I might go into build mode and like make one of these desks more like custom for her specifically. This is where you get your case maps and then this is kind of like the chief's secretary where like if you wanted to speak to the police chief you would talk to this person here and then the chief's office is right back here this is where the police chief works out of they have their like name placard and everything also i put a stash of money under their desk so maybe they're not like the best police chief who knows and then back here we have some employee bathrooms we also have the records room where like filing cabinets and everything are and then over here we have the booking station we have the cells including the holding cell for the criminals that come in and then we have the interrogation room which yay good to see that it works because it wasn't working when i was building so we have like the one-way mirror situation here. And then upstairs we have, oh, actually I want to stock the fish. That's fun. And then upstairs we have kind of the recreational area. So we have like a little place to sit and relax. Got some vending machines. We have a changing room in here. There's also a maintenance closet. And let me tell you guys, when I was play testing this on my live stream, two of my coworkers immediately went into this maintenance closet and woohooed like on the clock. So that was crazy. I kind of hope that some drama happens. And here we have like the lockers and the showers and the showers also have toilets in them and then this is like the gym which honestly is like a really really nice gym so your sims can work out here there's a rooftop access there's not really anything up here right now but there's some benches and everything and then we have the analysis lab for dna evidence and all of that stuff in here we got like two of these analyzers and then like the desk for reporting what you find and then last but not least we have the kind of cafeteria space so this is where your sims would like come to like eat their lunch and stuff. We have the coffee bar. Everyone has their own like coffee cup and everything. We have the microwave stations. Please don't microwave poop. And we have like the refrigerators where like you would bring your lunch from home. And then also if you wanted to make lunch while you're in the office, you can do that here. We got some sinks and everything. And then we just have like pastries and like food, baked goods that people maybe brought in, community events, and then just some tables for enjoying your lunch break. And then out back, we have like the back entrance here for employees. And then we also have two dumpsters for any dumpsters dumpster woohoo shenanigans that you might be into. But yeah, I'm like really pleased with this build. I really, really like how it looks from the outside. And again, this is on my gallery if you want to download it and replace your own police department with it. As you can see, I did use a lot of packs. So if you don't have all the packs, there might be some things missing, but it might be better than not having it at all. So feel free to enjoy it. All right, let's see if everyone goes to where they need to go. When I was playtesting, everyone did what they needed to do. So I'm a little nervous. <laughs> let's hope everyone does what they need to do. Can you guys go into your uh, jail cells, please? Thank you. Okay, I need to exercise for one hour. I also need to interrogate the suspect, which I think I can do. So yeah, this is the evil Edward Cullen teen that I arrested. So it looks like whatever bug that was is not bugging anymore, which is good. Sometimes these things have been glitching a little bit, just so you know, but it should still work overall. Like they kind of just walk through the walls and stuff, but it's okay. All right, we're here to interrogate you. Tetsu seems shy. It's happening. So I think what we have to do is we can do good cop, bad cop, or evidence. So I'm going to review the case file. Does this look familiar to you? And personally, this is like my favorite part of this career, so I'm glad that it's working. It's like, what do you mean? Uh, he seems shy. I'm gonna show fingerprint evidence. Why am I sobbing? Stop. I'm depressed. <laughs> the evidence is here. Witness statement. He seems shy. I think that this bar is good to be filling up. He seems worried. Where are you going? Where are you going? What the heck? He can't just walk out of here, can he? What the flick? He just went back into the cell. <laughs> no, what the heck is going on? Oh no. I can interrogate him from the jail cell, I guess. It's fine. I'm going to make false promises. <laughs> this is 
so funny. Okay, listen, I didn't get to play test all of it, but it's fine. At least it's working. I'm going to show crime pictures. We know what you did. He's guilty. Put him behind bars. All right, let's get the confession. Come on. It's time for you to get behind bars, kid. You're in the rig or the brig or whatever it's called. Case closed. It's one more criminal off the streets. Unfortunately, crime never sleeps when we have another case waiting for you. Get the assignment from a computer and get back out there. Let's go. That means I should be able to get promoted. I'm proud of you, Percy. That's awesome. The receptionist is just standing here. That's so weird. No, I'm at work, Momo. Is the chief in their office at least? Honestly, it might be like a little bit buggier than usual today because I placed the lot like in the middle of the work day. So I feel like the next time we come to work, they'll be where they need to be. Hello. I need to talk to the chief. I don't know where that is. Oh, there we go. Talk to the chief. I feel like this makes my build look bad, but I promise when I was playtesting it on stream, it worked. Sorry, chief. Oh my God. Sorry. I'm going to go use the new gym though for an hour because I need to have some fun. So I'm going to go run with my chest out. Why would I describe an apocalypse to her? Stop. Don't be weird. Don't be weird, Percy. She's so freaking cute. I love her so much. God. And then maybe I'll grab some lunch or something. She's like sobbing on the treadmill. That's not looking good for us. All right. I'm going to eat something for lunch. Let's eat a salad. Thankfully, I didn't get too stinky from that jog. Oh, do I have to make my own salad? Okay. Oh, I didn't intend for you to use that cutting board, but you know, that's fine. It's not like there's like other counters that are actually open or anything. I think I'm supposed to do gourmet cooking. Let me look at the peach generation again. I kind of forget what I'm supposed to do every time I play. Yeah, I'm supposed to master gourmet cooking and comedy skills. So good for me to like do this gourmet cooking then. All right, we got some Sims in here kind of like analyzing things. Maybe if I reset these people, they'll like, what are you doing out here? Why are you not in your jail cell? <laughs> What happens if I reset them? No, I think it's just because I did this in the middle of the work day. Whatever, it's fine. I hope Myrtle had a good first day of school as well. All right, I'm gonna go get a case file, case assignment. Let's go back downstairs to our office. Look at her in there working. I'm so proud of her. Oh, also I set some lot traits to the police station. So feel free to turn them off if you don't want them, but I made this police station grody so Sims have a chance to get nauseous. So if your Sim is nauseous, that's why. I just thought it'd be kind of funny. What is he doing in here? This is the man I arrested. What are you doing? Where is he going? This is so funny to me that he's just able to walk around. He's literally in the evidence room, just like yelling at everyone. <laughs> oh my God. Edward Cullen. All right, let's cross reference the database. Maybe I'll find something in here. All right, let's add these clues to the crime map. All right, everybody, we got a new case up here. We gotta be careful. I got some new clues to add. She's doing such good work. She discovered the suspect has blonde hair. Oh my God, Maxwell has died. Oh my God. <laughs> everyone is dying. She's so uncomfortable. Can I like nap lazily in my chair until the end of work? I'm going to get promoted anyways. No one say anything, okay? I'm, I'm just on the clock. Can you imagine you come in to report a crime and this is what you see in there? Like one of the <laughs> police is just like sleeping. Oh God. Oh, Percy. I'm going to get promoted though. So it doesn't matter. Wait, did I not get promoted? I'm going to freak out. I should have. I was in the gold and I completed a case. Oh my God. That's wild to me that I didn't get promoted. My performance went down, I guess. Okay. Well, maybe tomorrow will be the day. All right, Murder. Did you do your homework? And did you have a good day at school? I hope so. Let's get you started on your homework. And then I'm going to have Percy maybe work on some gourmet cooking because it's never too late. And somehow Corrine failed to repair the shower. So I'm going to have her keep trying to do that. Corrine, get in here. Okay, she did it. Nice. What about this toilet? I want her to just get her abilities up so that she is able to instantly repair things a lot faster. There we go. Can you just spell all of this water? <gasps> Ooh, Jesse's pretty cute. Yes, do it. How are your ghost abilities going? Going. Can you get another skill point? Yes. Okay. I'm going to give us adept maintenance when you're high maintenance. So you get what you asked for and you become higher at maintenance. If anything, I'm just helping Corrine live her dreams. I think I'm a good person for that. Ooh, Luna and Percy are both in the mood. I'm going to have them do a, a woohoo then because they've both been kind of stressed out lately. So I think this will be good for them. Oh, good. The kids are on the balcony. That's not what you want to see when you're doing a woohoo. Why don't you get a bath from Azalea? Oh God. All of the kids are on the balcony. Oh my God. Wait, this is, I didn't know they were all out here. Oh my God. Okay. Just don't, don't go inside kids. Just stay out here. This is so messed up. I hate it here. Oh my God. Attraction changed. Why? That makes me sad. All right. Azalea, can you give me a bath, please? Why am I sobbing? Oh my God. Percy is really going through it with the grief. Look, I have hamburger. Do you want hamburger? Having to get out of bed is hard. I get it. Why don't you go to grief counseling today? Maybe that'll be good for you. The kids will be fine. I'm going to send Luna to bed. Myrtle, did you finish
finish your homework? Okay, she did. Looks like she's gonna go to bed. Gator is eating hamburgers out on the balcony. <laughs> I'm gonna send him to bed as well, though. All right, and then you need food, Allie. So let's go ahead and grab you some food. Thank you, Azalea. Corrine just fell asleep out here. I was like, where is she? I almost called her Chlorine, but with how much she's in the pool, she might as well be Chlorine. All right, let's send you to bed, Allie. Percy, how did your therapy go? Oh, she hated it. Okay, sick. Love that. I guess you could work on your joke routine while everyone else is in bed. Maybe that would cheer you up a little bit. Oh, why is Momo at the door? That's crazy. It's like midnight and she's just over here. Why are you here? It's good to see you though. Talk about posts made about Momo. What does that even mean? I'm also gonna give her residence keys. I would love for her to just like come over whenever. Ooh, I'm gonna ask Momo to pursue her dream job. I don't know what that is. I forget if she's employed right now. Oh yeah, she's a romance consultant. Wait, this might ruin her life. Okay, I guess we'll see what you decide to do next randomly. All right, Percy, we need to go to bed because you do have work tomorrow and I wanna see if like things are better the next day at work. I have Luna going on a morning jog here and she just decided she wanted to become an active sim. So good for her on that. It's like a beautiful place to jog in the morning. Okay, Myrtle is awake and having some tofu pad thai before school. Ooh, that will wake you up. I'm gonna see if I can get her to go take a shower and stuff before school as well. Hi, Luna. Welcome back from your jog. God, she's so beautiful. This is one of the most beautiful sims I've ever made, I think. I've really outdone myself here. Good morning, Azalea. What's smelly in here? Is there like boiled food or something? I keep complaining about something stinky. I bet there's like a rotten plate stashed somewhere in this kitchen that I just, I can't see it. Oh, she's getting a little swim in. That is not what I meant by freaking getting clean before school. In fact, that is the opposite of what I meant. Come in here and take a shower. I can't have you being smelly Myrtle at school. All right, Myrtle, have a good day at school. She looks so cute. I love her. The new life and death hair is like perfect and I'm glad it came out at this time. All right, study hard. Luna, do you have work today or are you taking the day off? I can't remember. Okay, she's going to work. Oh God, Azalea is really having a hard time with grief today. Really, really affecting her. I might give them a couple more days of grief and then ask them to like get over it because like it's not going away and I'm like sending them to so much therapy. Ew, did you just fart in your chair? What the heck, Percy? Oh my God, that was crazy. That was really nasty. If you fart into a ghost, does the ghost become the fart because they're like non-corporeal? That's a good question. I need answers. I'm just gonna load in and see if like things are less glitchy today like they were in my stream when I was play testing it. And then we'll probably go ahead and call it here for today's episode. I just wanna see for myself. Okay, things are already looking better. Yeah, they're in their cells. For some reason, one of the criminals does like to stand in the hallway here, but everyone seems to be where they need to be. Where's the chief though? Chief. In my play test, the chief was always in their office. So this is a bit concerning. Chief, I don't see the chief anywhere. Maybe they come in later. Like the lab assistant is in the lab. The receptionist isn't here either. Interesting. So like two of the employees just aren't here. Hopefully they'll show up later. Oh my God, are you two flirting? I think there's something going on here. I hope they woohoo. All right, I'm gonna add some clues to the crime map and then probably call it here because things seem to be working relatively normally. I think that the detective career is just buggy in general. So I don't know if it's my build's fault. The suspect is female wearing a blouse. Okay, so at least now we know what we're looking for. A female with blonde hair wearing a blouse. So we can take that into the next episode. As always, thank you all so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this episode or any of my other content here on my YouTube channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Let me know in the comments what you all think about the police station I built. Honestly, I really like it and it feels more fun to come to work when I've made it myself. And I'm just hoping that the weird bugs sort themselves out. But honestly, a lot of it seems like it might be out of my control because I think like the detective career itself is broken, but it's working well enough that I can at least play through the career. Either way, until next time, I love you all a lot and I will see you in the next one. Take care, everyone. Thank you for watching my YouTube video. I don't know what I'm singing. This is my outro, but thanks. See you next time. Love you. Bye.